Hello there lovelies, Ashley Michelle here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where you can find beginner beauty tutorials and reviews and today you guys we have the perfect beginner friendly wig for this fall season but as always if you want to know the details on this lovely unit that I'm wearing right here, Miss Amanda, definitely make sure you check out the description box down below because I will have all of her details listed as well. But today you guys we are going to be reviewing Miss Martisha from the Otre Melted Hairline Collection. This is literally one of my favorite collections from Otre. The lace is always chef's kiss on point. So I did pick up Miss Martisha in the color Ginger Brown. She does come in a variety of different colors. Your natural black and brown, your ombre, honey blonde, as well as a red velvet. And you guys, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So of course, you do have your, your netting as well as your plastics. I always will suggest if you don't have a container that you like to keep your wigs in, always keep that netting in the plastic bag that it comes in so that way you can preserve the longevity of your wig. And as you guys can see, I just look like a kid at Christmas unboxing this wig. I was super duper excited. Now let's get into the construction. She does have lace from ear to ear. We do have two combs by the temples. We have a curved side part as well as an adjustable um, straps in the nape as well as a comb in the nape section as well. And the elastic band was literally my favorite part about the construction of this unit. I was super duper excited to try this out. And y'all, they came through with the pre-made baby hairs. So if you are new to just doing edges and baby hairs with your wigs and you want something it's pretty much ready to throw on and go. I definitely would try out the wigs from the Melted Hairline Collection. And y'all, the curls were super duper bouncy. Like, I just love the body that this wig had. It was very, very easy to run my fingers through it. So let's go ahead and snatch Miss Amanda off and throw Miss Martisha on, okay? So first things first, we got to get these edges snatched and under control. So I'm going to be using my edge booster edge control to slick back my edges. I'm not going to be doing a ball cap method. I'm just going to be smoothing my edges out the way and getting that wig cap in place. So that way we can give that scalp like illusion underneath our unit. And you guys, you know, since we are in the season of Thanksgiving, one thing I just have to say is I've been appreciating you guys still supporting my channel while life has been life in. So definitely let me know in the comments down below, you know, what are some things that you are thankful and grateful about? Let you know, share the positive vibes and positivity down below in the comments. Okay, y'all, let's get back to the wig install. So you guys, I'm going to be tinting my lace with my Eben Tinted Lace Spray in medium dark brown. You guys already know this is my favorite product. If you are new to the wig game, I definitely would try this out. It dries super duper quick. It's very, very easy to apply. All you have to do is literally spray it where you want it to go. And I like to do like one to two layers of this spray. And I like this shade because it's just a little bit darker than my complexion. So it just blends in a whole lot effortlessly. So after I spray on the tinted lace spray, I just like to take my blow dryer on a warm setting to make sure I have the product nice and dry so we don't have any residue or buildup from the product as well. And y'all, for the best part, we're about to go ahead and get Miss Martisha on. Now I'm not going to lie to y'all. At first, I was not feeling her. It definitely was not giving what I thought it was going to give. But I did have to just, you know, play with her, make some adjustments. But you guys, can we look at this lace? Do you see the lace? Do you see this lace? Like, it is so transparent. And it's so soft as well. That's one thing that I love about the Otre Melted Hairline Collection. How soft and transparent that lace is. Like, you can't tell me this isn't my hair growing on my scalp. And I don't even have her laid down, okay? So here I am just cutting off the air tabs 
or the lace right above my ear I'm matching it up to where I left out my own natural edges by my sideburns so that way I can make this wig look nice and natural if you do have a low growing hairline I would suggest doing this method like leaving out your edges and kind of blending in the edges of the wig to it and of course we got to get a little dance break in I mean it ain't nothing like vibing out when you put in on your wig now I'm going to be cutting some slits into the wig I like to make a cut right above my eyebrow or by the temples on both sides so I have three sections when I'm working with my wig it just makes it a whole lot easier for me to maneuver it and now I'm going in with the even wonder spray and this is the extreme hold y'all I have not put this spray down since I've been using it like I don't use anything else the hold is amazing and you can build it up so I normally like to do one to two layers if I'm just wearing my wig for a couple of days but if you do want to wear this wig for about a week I definitely would suggest going in with three to four layers of the spray definitely make sure that you clean off your skin as well with like a cleanser I would say a cleanser not an alcohol so it's not stripping the natural oils out of your skin as well and after I have blow dried the spray on a warm setting I go ahead and position my lace and use a comb to press the lace into my skin and y'all look at that melt look at the melt can you see it sis can you see it so here I'm just continuing to take my comb and press like literally press that lace into your skin and y'all I just love how it is just it's literally melting away like I love it so now I'm going to be applying my elastic band and I like to let my band sit on for about 15 minutes and you got to get that band tight okay you know if you don't feel like you're losing a couple of brain cells not for real y'all but if she ain't tight she ain't laying okay you got to melt that lace so I'm going to let the band sit on for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what we're looking like when we take her off. All right, y'all, so I'm just super duper excited. Now, when you take your band off, you want to be very, very careful because sometimes I've noticed if I just pull it off, it kind of rolls up the lace. So you want to proceed with caution when you are taking off your elastic band. Now, as you guys can see, I have a little bit of white residue in certain spots. To get rid of that, all you have to do is use a little bit of alcohol to pretty much dab that out the way. Now, you don't want to use too much because you don't want to lift the lace. But that's what I do. That's my little trick to being able to get rid of that white residue. And you can also use a makeup powder to go over it as well. So when it comes to cutting my lace, you guys, I like to first get rid of the bulk of the lace with like a razor comb or some scissors. And then I'll go back in with a smaller nail scissors, like the small little nail scissors that come in the manicure kit. I like to go back in with those to actually get the extra pieces of lace that are rolling up so here I'm going in with some small nail scissors to get the tiny little pieces of lace that are still rolling up and sometimes I still go back in and apply more spray if I just have some pieces that are rolling up but I want to keep so here I'm just cutting as much lace off as possible but y'all it just looks like it's growing out of my scalp like yes ma'am so here i'm just pulling out some hair to do some edges now this is definitely optional you do not have to do this step but i like to do it just because i just like edges And to lay the edges in place, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glue Black Gel. First, I'm just going to trim the edges down some so that way they're not super duper long. And the key to making them look a lot more natural is just making them thin. 
So if you have to pluck the hairline just a little bit more, then that's all you would have to do to make them look a little bit thinner. And now I'm gonna take my scarf to lay those edges. And again, I'm just gonna leave this scarf on for about 15 minutes as well and then come back to finish up with the final touches. So for my final touches, I'm gonna be using my She So Bomb hair wax stick to get the top of the part looking as flat as possible as well as the front of my hairline. And after I apply my wax stick, I'm gonna go on with my hot comb on about 270 degrees, you guys. This is literally the key to making your wig look like it's growing out of your scalp is that wax stick and that hot comb combination, okay? It doesn't miss every time. Like, you guys, I don't know where I've been sleeping at not trying this, but it works and I love it. And y'all, these are the final results of Miss Martisha. Like, you cannot tell me. You can't tell me she is not growing out of my scalp, honey, okay? Look at that lace. Look at that lace, baby, Okay. I definitely would suggest adding this wig to your wig collection. She is beginner friendly. And as you guys can see, you can do a little flip over with her as well as wear her half up and half down. You guys, this wig was definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I love the construction. The lace was my favorite, favorite part about the wig. And you guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this wig review slash install. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts of was on Miss Martisha. Would you rock her yourself? And of course, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your beauty bestie so we all can look fabulous together. And you guys already know what to do. Remember to stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay safe, and stay popping. And I will check you guys out in my next video. Bye.